GCSE Biology, Section 4.1, Terms Used to Describe Ecosystems. The ecosystem is a term that we hear very widely in the media, but as biology students, you are required to have a more precise understanding of this term. On the left-hand side, we have an ecosystem, an image of a forest with waterfalls and the growth of the trees and so forth. Now, this could be an ecosystem and we would begin by looking to describe the community of organisms and then we would have a study of the habitat Looking at this second component first, the habitat includes all the abiotic factors, that is the non-biological factors of this environment here. There could be the cycle of daylight with dark, the photoperiod. We could include uh, the temperature either on local or seasonal or annual cycles. We could have rainfall, humidity, slope of the land, the geology and so forth. But notice that all of these factors have something in common and that is that they are non-biological. So that would be a description of our habitat. Our community of organisms is made up of populations of different species and they are interacting. If we look at this section here, then a population is the number of individuals of a particular species. So we would need to find the population of each species within our habitat and species, of course, we could define as organisms that reproduce to give fertile offspring. So now we have a more precise definition of our ecosystem. The interactions which occur are many and varied, but on this course, the common interaction we'll be looking at is feeding. So our ecosystem is a community of organisms in a particular habitat. The community is made up of different populations of the different species interacting within that habitat.